This is a pretty exciting day. Been wanting to put these on the 850 GS for a long time. Uh, just for safety reasons really to be more visible uh, we have these fog lights from Perf LED they're 3500 lumens uh, they only consume about 40 watts while you're riding uh, these BMW motorcycles have tons of power so that shouldn't be an issue uh, comes with this wire harness here on off switch for the handlebars looks like a couple different ways to, to wire it in. Then we have two fog lights. These are made by Cree LED, one of the original LED manufacturers. Really heavy, so it looks like pretty quality product. Some more connectors, nuts, bolts. Looks like a little Allen wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, probably all you're gonna need. Mounts. To the crash bars and your second headlight or fog light. That's all you have there. It's actually been kind of challenging getting this wiring all up here. Here is the switches that have to be connected yet and this red hot wire um, for the switches right here. We're going to connect to the hot wire and your cigarette lighter or auxiliary power. Good morning. All right, we got the fog lights installed. Went pretty well. They look really good. Um, I just don't like the wiring, how you have to use like zip ties or I use Velcro to hide the wiring. And then they came reverse polarity for some reason. The people were very polite and responsive on the email really quick, but you have to use this additional three inch plug to connect to the light, which is really ugly. And you can see these little clips right here, how there's a, top part. I broke two of those off and it it's not that cold where I'm at. I'm in Las Vegas. It's only about 60 degrees in the garage so it shouldn't just snap right out in your hand. Wired into the cigarette lighter which is really cool. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit um, because it turns off two minutes after the bike turns off. So if you turn the fog lights on and leave them on uh, it'll turn off two minutes after the bike starts up. You can see the blue light blinking there on your auxiliary port. There's nothing plugged in, so that's what it's supposed to do. Um, I have the headlight covered up here so you can get the full effect of the fog lights. There's your on off switch. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to switch between the modes. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Pretty bright and uh, see what it looks like the headlight and the bike fired up in a little bit here. But uh, I say we get out of here, go take these for a ride.
That's low beam. High beam. Back to low beam. Now you got your fogs. It's, it's really cool down the road too. And your fogs with your high beam. Back to low beam. Fogs. Fogs high. 